The Bull Durham Blues Festival is a showcase of some of the finest traditional and contemporary blues artists, an art form reflective of Durham's rich musical heritage. The Haytai Heritage Center's mission, of course, is to promote the African-American experience, and blues is a large part of the African-American experience. So what better way to do it than to have a festival such as the Bull Durham Blues Festival? Walter Norflett was the first um, director for St. Joseph's Historic Foundation. The two of us um, went to the first blues festival that I'm aware of that was held in Durham in 1987 at the ballpark. Call John, call Evermore. Really, I think, got Walter and I thinking, well, you know, we should do something like this on a regular basis. We wanted it to be that kind of event that would attract a wide range of ages and um, types of folks, you know, all different kinds of music lovers. There were a couple of um, folks that I had worked with at the Arts Council that I got involved with the festival, um, Glenn Henson and Jerry Ann King. Oh, baby. So they really brought with them to this event their knowledge of past and current, what you would call traditional blues artists that really were, um, you know, quote, experts in the Piedmont blues style of music. It started out around 1500 at the first couple of festivals. We have had as many as 20,000. A couple of favorites have been, of course, Ruth Brown. Love having Etta James here. Um, the late Bo Diddley, we've had him a couple times. A wonderful favorite. Uh, of course, Mel Melton and the Wicked Mojos, and he's a local, but um, we he's a great friend of the foundation. Isaac Hayes, the late Isaac Hayes, and, and the reason I'm mentioning them because that's what's so special about this festival because we've had the opportunity to have some of the major artists blues artists, rhythm and blues artists across this country and it has been an opportunity for our community to see some of these people that they may normally never see in a lifetime. He'll help you do the dishes, take you out on the town. Our local artists, it's an opportunity for them to be on a stage and opportunity for people to see them and for them to perform to large audiences and to get that training that they need and to have an opportunity to mingle with regional artists and national artists. But Durham really is significant in blues, the blues world, or at least the blues music world, because of the Piedmont style of blues that really was kind of featured here in this part of the country. It's a perfect fit, it's a perfect match. I could not see this festival anywhere else but right here in Durham. It's so many things that I love. I love, uh, it's like a family reunion. I see some of the same people every year. I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to uh, work with such a festival and work with such an organization as St. Joseph's to be able to produce this type of festival and um, its history, its archival, um, and um, you just hear people all across the community, all across the state, talk about the festival and what it has meant to them. But I feel so much better.